Hello everyone and welcome back to World Zoo Season 3 and we are here in the forest zone of our zoo right now looking over our Spanish lynx family and they are looking really handsome actually. Unfortunately we had Spanish lynx 2 pass away so we are down a couple Spanish lynx. She passed away of old age so don't worry it wasn't anything devious or sad. She just was not able to uh, to fight off old age because <laughs> oh look at them they're so amazing. Oh my goodness. And then the little one down here is eating some of the chicks. That is one of the foods that they eat. And actually the real life Spanish lynx I've read are big hunters of bunnies. So they actually tend to prey primarily on the rabbits and the other hares that will dart around in the sparse woodlands and grasslands. They're not really woodlands. They're more like prairie open grassland sort of creatures. So that's where you'll find them. But let's see what kind of relationship do our current Spanish lynx have if I lost one of my other ones from old age. I'm kind of curious. Like, are, are we talking siblings? So here's Spanish Lynx 3. And it's mother. Oh, so it's mother is Spanish Lynx number one. And it has three siblings. So Spanish Lynx 4 through 5 are its siblings. So I think what I'm going to do is get a new male. And we'll put a new male in. And we might, um, we might see about going ahead and releasing this male. So we'll release Spanish Lynx number four and we'll do that right now. Oh, that was so hard. <laughs> it's hard even though I know we, we don't have the capacity for him and that we should do that so that we can bring in a new male who can become the mate to that adult female. So let me see. Let me see what the other siblings are like too. So Spanish Lynx three is a female because she can get pregnant and Spanish Lynx 5 and 6 I think are still babies and Spanish Lynx 1 is the mother so I think I'm gonna name Spanish Lynx 3 Lavender because they're actually in a lavender field or I added a whole bunch of of different spices when we made this like oregano over here oh we'll, we'll start naming them after herbs and things back here so Spanish Lynx number three is now named Lavender and I actually want to get a male of her kind so oh and she just left a huge poop pile thank you Spanish Lynx oh my goodness all right and let's go ahead and see. I want another, but I want it to be a male. So I need to make sure I can snag the male Spanish lynx. So let's go ahead and look for that. There's so many creatures. Feast your eyes upon the many, many creatures we can add in. The European otter. Do I have the European otter already in here? I need to check that out because I would love to have a European otter in here. Also, I need to find foxes. I need to see. I think I have an island fox. So they may have to do in a pinch for representing foxes in our forest zone. We have a lot of of problems that I don't remember kind of glossing over and like shoving under the mossy rug last time we were in our forest zoo that we are currently trying to solve um but once we get those problems underhand like then in hand I should say then we will start working on adding in some new forest creatures just right now my guests are starving to death do you guys remember last time I have never seen anything like that where the guests will just flock for watering uh, for the little water fountains. So we'll definitely have to add in more water fountains. All right. Well, Spanish Lynx. I don't think it's under S actually. Hmm. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, there's the Galapagos giant tortoise. So that would be T's for tortoise. And then, yeah, we're getting into the Z's for zebra over there. The Let's see. Let's try over here. Oh, yep, there's a red fox. Wonderful. We can add in some red foxes in a little bit. That would be fantastic since we're playing Ultimate Fox Simulator right now, which is tremendously popular, especially with our younger audiences. Here's all the deer. Here's a coyote. There's a cougar. Ooh, a cougar. I want to add in a cougar. That would be amazing. But where's the Spanish lynx? I probably passed her up like three times. But we're getting a good opportunity. The giant bison. Oh my goodness. Grass puffer. The Crested Grebe. Getting a good opportunity. The Hippo to look at everything that we have. Striped Hyena. Do I have Striped Hyenas? I'm pretty sure I have Striped Hyenas in our Safari Zone. We should go visit our Safari Zone soon too. Even if we do have things to do. It's fun to rotate between the exhibits. Oh, and the Kiwi! I want to have some Kiwi babies. That would be amazing. Alright, Snow Leopard. Clouded Leopard. Leopard. So Lions and Leopards were right there. Uh, Eurasian Lynx, Spanish Lynx. There we go. All right. So we're going to get a new male. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and I'll call him Oregano. So we have Lavender and Oregano. 
And we'll have to see if Oregano the male Spanish lynx, who we have just added in, is he going to pick the young new Spanish lynx? Is he going to pick the young female Lavender? Or is he going to pick the older, more experienced female who is Lavender's mother? So that's going to be interesting to see because I can't control who he decides to take as his mate. You just kind of stick them both in there and see what happens. And then let me go ahead and put down... I kind of want to put in some live prey for them. So I'll put in a little, a little rat. Wait, where'd the rat go? The rat didn't even show up. There, I'm going to put in a little frog. There we go. Oh, there's the rat. Okay, it took off. All right, are, do, you guys, do you guys enjoy? All right, let's see what happens. Anything going on over here? Guests are starving. Okay, my guests are so fussy. I think we have a lot of guests. Oh, look, yay. I'm so glad you guys are coming to check out the new Spanish lynx. I think it's quite lovely. We have, oh, 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 oh. Are they already having a baby? <gasps> Did that take like two seconds? Lavender, have you accepted him as your mate? Don't walk on oregano while they're trying to make babies. That's rude. You're going to interrupt him. He's an endangered species. Oh my gosh, that frog is like as big as the little the little kit here. All right. Tell me, tell me the good news. Tell me the good news. Are you, are you expecting some new kits? Will we have even more Spanish lynx? We have a huge family of Spanish lynx over here, actually. I'm pretty proud about it. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> pretty proud about it. Trying to take a better picture, and I managed to open up the Zoopedia and startle myself. All right. How's it looking down here? Do you guys like each other? Is that a good sign? I don't know why. They're so pretty. I don't know what has taken me over with them. So far, he's not eating or trying to kill her younger siblings, which is also a plus. Yeah, I don't know what exactly has enchanted me about them, but I really like the Spanish lynx right now. All right, so hopefully they're going to be okay. And hopefully we got a good a good picture of them. Which What's, what's going on over here? Okay, Lavender. Do you oh, she's pregnant! Lavender's already pregnant! That took like two seconds. Oregano got in here and their eyes met and now we have Spanish lynx babies on the way. Huzzah! That's awesome, you guys. All right. And then I also wanted to come over and show you guys some of our beavers. So the guests are still dying of thirst. <laughs> okay, okay. One thing at a time then. Oh my gosh, look at the line we still have for drinks. So I think this is a little excessive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and come over. And I feel like I need to add in just like a... a maybe... You know what? Maybe the water... Maybe just having water fountains isn't enough. Maybe we need water stands so people can walk around with their water. I don't know why that didn't just occur to me. I always bring a water bottle everywhere I go. Um, but I guess, here, let's put down like two because everything seems so desperate right now. Everybody is dying of thirst. So we might as well just go ahead and be like, okay, everybody. <laughs> This is the water station. You can come over. You can get your water from over here if you want to carry it around. But I forget because I take a water bottle with me everywhere I go. And so does Chips, my beloved boyfriend. Um, I forget that other people don't do that. Like we always take bags wherever we go. So if we do any shopping, we never take home a bag. We always take water bottles wherever we go. So if we need something to drink, we always have our water or we can just get water. And I totally forget that that's not something that people do. Like like for everybody so maybe this is what the problem is the water fountain isn't enough because people aren't filling up their their water cans or anything like that because they don't have them which is kind of it sucks to be them then um let's go ahead and put this right here so maybe if i come over and i put down <laughs> the water like these water shops where they can come over and everybody we're just going to call this like uh oh this could be beaver falls this is going to be beaver falls even though it's like opposite side of the beavers beaver falls even though it's opposite side of the beavers we're just going to stick it right over here and then everybody can come and get their water from there and we're going to call that beaver falls and pretend it's like one shop instead of two Yay! Hopefully this will help. <laughs> I'm really hoping this will help. And we can set up little Beaver Falls areas. Hi, Apifal! Um, pretty much everywhere, actually. I think that sounds like it would be really, really fun. So we'll do that. And hopefully people... I should put down some recycling cans. What am I doing? Only putting down trash cans. What, uh, okay, let's see. I need... Uh, would it be under miscellaneous? Do, do, do. Oh, there's so many things! I should start researching some of these things so we can teach people about life life in the universe oh my goodness in fact i should probably start putting in educators <laughs> size comparison models oh, i love these i love these little interactive pieces that you can put down for people um let's do the aquarium 
Let's do some aquarium research with the, let's do the fish so that I can put that down. And then let's do some research, animal photo booth. That sounds kind of cute. I'm not really into that, but that sounds kind of cute. And the tea house, I totally forgot about the tea house. That's pretty popular too. We'll put some research into it as well. And then the insect house. Yeah, let's research the insect house. All right, so hopefully that's going to start helping a little bit with guests being thirsty. Look at everybody getting these drinks. So let's go ahead. We'll add in another beaver falls um, to the other side. What is this? Tell me this is not... Why is this the carcass of a porcupine? Why? Do I have a porcupine in my porcupine list? Has something happened to my porcupines? <laughs> Okay, we've got to stop and check. Where is my porcupines? Okay, I've got lots and lots of deer. We've got so many deer. We're gonna have to start sending some of them out. Um, I have some really bored ducks, so I probably need to find something for them to do. Some little toy for them to play with somehow. So we'll put that down later. Water mongoose. I have peafowl. I have turkeys. Lots and lots. I have turkeys in the egg. I have a bunch of uh, catfish. I have the European boil. Why? What has happened to my porcupine? Why? Was it too prickly? An overpricked porcupine? Is that what happened? This thing's empty. There is no porcupine anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay. Porcupine, I add you back in. I have no idea what happened to him or where he went, but we need to find him. I can't believe this. All right, we've got porpoises, seals, so I need to back up a little bit. Oh, there's pigs! <laughs> and there's the European porcupine, which so far has proven to be one of the most frustrating creatures to add in. Um, so we'll put down a male again, and then we'll put down a female again, and then we're just going to hope that they don't get over prickly. I can't believe that we've just left a dead porcupine in there. We'll have to just hope, cross our fingers, they don't get too prickly and they'll deal with each other okay. Because I, I, I don't understand why they've been fighting so much. Last time we had porcupines, they, fo they fought a lot. Um, and they ended up, they ended up, the siblings ended up killing each other. So we're going to see if we can have a little bit of better luck this time around. Hello, ma'am. Aren't you lovely? And the turkeys are now expecting again. Oh, I'm tripping over all of their things. All right. Are you going to be okay? Oh, look at him eat. He's so cute. He's so cute, you guys. We've got a nice little porcupine just hanging out down here. Hopefully, that'll start attracting more guests to looking over at this side of the zoo, too. Oh, we're five stars. Wait, why is the Ethiopian wolf in a crate? It doesn't need to be in a crate. You guys are just silly. You guys are just being silly. Here, you come down here. They haven't figured out how to breed yet, the Ethiopian fish, or the Ethiopian fish. It's because the Tropical Fish Aquarium just finished being researched. The Ethiopian wolves haven't figured out how to breed just yet. Oh, and we lost our five stars. We had it for a brief moment. I think it's because the guests are still super thirsty. So let's put down another beaver falls. Um, I'm trying to think about where we should put it. Maybe over here? There's a few people over here. But they can get drinks and everything that they want over here. So maybe I should see where are all our thirsty guests located. Because we can look at our guests. And let's locate them by thirst. Time for me to go home. I'm glad the drinking fountain is here because I'm thirsty. Everybody's super thirsty right over here where there's already places to get drinks. Uh, okay, so let's add in a couple more drinking fountains. I think beaver between Beaver Falls and the drinking fountains we added in... The worst of their thirst is beginning to be satiated. All right, let's see. Can I put this in here? Why not? There's not enough. What? You need a headroom for a drinking fountain? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, I won't ask questions. I am going to add in another just like plain drinking spot called Beaver Falls, though. Just right here. All right. Excuse me, sir. I need that spot. Like, people seem to be using that spot, actually. Let me watch. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put this right here. And then we're going to have another Beaver Falls. For those who are too good for the drinking fountain. Hopefully this will this will satisfy them now. Phew. All right, well that is done. And it looks like everybody is just leaving trash all over the place. So I need to get some recycling bins in here too. I can't believe how <laughs> I've just got to like run from one little disaster to the next. Uh, let's see. Statues, trash cans. Does that include recycling bins? Thank you. Okay, we've got to teach these people to take care of the environment. So recycle, all of you. It's not just now you want desserts. No. <laughs> so much going on. All right, let's put down the recycling bins and we'll see if those fill up or not. All right, recycle. Recycle, please, everybody. 
please, uh, if you if you have food, if you have uh, partaken of Beaver Falls or all those other places, care for the beavers. Why are you in a crate? Guess they're starving. I don't know why my zookeeper is creating these wolves. They're fine. They're safely inside the area. There's nothing wrong with them. They're actually pretty darn happy. So we'll have to see what's going on there. I'm surprised they're not... Wait, wait, what? What are you doing inside of here? Wait, hang on now. This Ethiopian wolf is inside of my Scottish wildcat exhibit. Tell me I still have wildcats. <laughs> Tell me I still have Scottish wildcats. You cannot go in and just raid another's another exhibit like that. Stay, stay. Bad, bad Ethiopian wolf, stay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. That's what I get for not paying attention. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, hopefully that'll be better. And let's get some drinking fountains and bathrooms put in over here for the guests over here. And this is where I think I'm going to put in the fox, maybe. So I think I think maybe something kind of low level because we've got really awesome things to attract everybody over here. We've got the Ethiopian wolf, which is quite rare, and we've got the Scottish wildcat. And then right here, I think we're going to put in uh, maybe something a little bit calmer. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, not not the porcupine. I would have said the porcupines were calm and I was so wrong about that. They're, they're actually quite... Uh, they are actually quite the handful. Um, don't really need... And I'm okay if they're not like 100% um, forest animals at this point. Because we're kind of easing up on that kind of strict requirement. But I do want people to enjoy them. Maybe some more ducks? Maybe some nice peaceful ducks with a multi-species exhibit of some kind? So we could have some peaceful mallard ducks roaming around with who else not kangaroos like i said i'm easing up on the forest requirements but that's a little bit above like above and over what we need okay we're still a five star all of a sudden i guess if you make sure people have enough things to drink and enough places to use the restroom they suddenly like you again an alligator gar oh i want to put in an alligator gar that would be so cool that would be awesome but i don't know like a water exhibit area I kind of feel like I would need a little bit more space like back here for it, like to guide people over. So yeah, let's guide people over. This will be, I guess we'll go ahead and turn this into the fox exhibit after all. And then we'll guide people back to see the alligator gar and other cool things. So let's see. Other cool things deeper in. Um, hmm, lots of dinosaurs. I don't suppose ponies would really count. We already have tons of deer. We already have tons and tons of deer. All right, so I'll figure this out. There's so many things to pick from. If you guys see one that's really just, oh, like a cougar, yes, that would be awesome. If you guys see one that's just like jumping out at you and you're like, that's the most awesome thing, we have to have that in this area, then let me know. Uh, Asian gold cat, sand cat. There's so many to pick from. I think we'll just go with like a nice little, a nice little calm exhibit of some type. Um, maybe with... Uh, I shouldn't put in chickens. I really want to put in chickens. I love chickens. I really love chickens. Let's see. And if I just sort it by maybe temperate grassland and oh, there's the chickens again. See, we're supposed to have chickens. <laughs> we're supposed to have chickens. I love chickens. All right. So I think maybe we'll go ahead and the war would actually be kind of interesting to put into temperate forest. Uh, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. New Caledonian giant crested gecko. <laughs> These are not quite the kind of creatures that I was thinking about for the forest, but that's okay. Jimpet rainforest. Then where would, would it be open woodlands? This might give us a better idea. So we've got the red fox, the European roe deer, hmm, the caper collie. That might be more what I'm talking about and maybe even a European badger. So, oh, they're so tiny. Oh my gosh, they're adorable and tiny. And the European Gennet. Oh, I know, the Gennet is so tiny too. They're really cute. So we might do like a bird exhibit right here. And then maybe we'll do the badger exhibit because they're a lot smaller than I thought. And the fox exhibit. And then we'll work our way over here and we'll have like the alligator gar and some of the other creatures. Oh, and are the Ethiopian wolves... Are you guys play fighting? Or are you making new babies? What's the answer? Are we gonna have some babies? They're gonna, they're mating. Oh, oh my goodness. 
We're gonna have some babies? This is an educational experience, I'm sure. No, look, they are not gonna have any babies. <laughs> I don't think we have a very good lineup. All right, we should probably get an educator over here as well, because there's a lot of exhibits down here that people can talk about, and people want to be a little bit more amused. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Yes, congratulations. You have raised more than 250,000 in animal donations. The face painting kiosk is now available for purchase in your zoo. You guys, that's one of my favorite things. Now we can see people with their faces painted. I love that, and the other thing I always like to set as a goal oh my gosh I didn't even I don't think I've ever had 20,000 guests so that would be really cool the other thing I really always love to set as a goal when we jump into Zoo Tycoon 2 is getting and let me find it because if you unlock it then there we go the educational exhibit reward getting the headset kiosk that is really cool and educational babies oh I want to do that one breed 10 different species of endangered or critically endangered animals to receive the animals baby statue oh that's so cool yeah, I want to get some of these. This will be fun. This will be really fun to be able to. I always want the kiosk and the endangered babies thing would be fun. Endangered species would be fun. I haven't unlocked some of these before. Um, and then, oh, am I running a challenge? Oh my goodness. I'm going to feel really silly if we've been running a challenge this whole time and I've been just completely ignoring it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. All right, our zoo is just going back and forth. Oh, oh, we are. We're running a challenge. Okay, our, our current primary goals. Okay, I think we're running a challenge right now. No, maybe not. I think we're actually trying to get a common peafowl taking a dust bath. <laughs> Is that what we're currently working on? Oh my gosh, we are. We're supposed to be following our peafowl around. Okay, well, I just figured that out too. So, all right, next time we'll go through and I will be showing you guys uh, like the beaver family and trying to kind of... We're going to have to rehome some of these guys because there's too many beavers. They average anywhere from 1 to 13 individuals, and this is kind of off the charts on the number of individuals. So we're going to take care of the beaver family and kind of gently sort them out. And then we are also going to make sure our guests are less starving. I'm trying. I'm, I'm putting down as many things as fast as I can, and still these people are so hungry. They need, like, so many picnic baskets. I wish I could just sell them the stuff from the picnic pickup from our zoo crafting series because that would be amazing. And we'll start putting in some new exhibits for some new animals. So I'm really excited to learn about a couple of those new animals. European wildlife is not my forte, so it'll be really fun to look into that. And continue filling out our zoo. So there's a lot of room, and I think we might dabble just here and there with creatures who are outside of the forest, um, the forest spear. So we'll have to see who we end up picking. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.